Hi everybody, so it's release day today, Friday the 23rd of April 2021 and we've got eight new stamp sets that are launching at 5pm on our website this evening. So I thought I'd just run you through the different sets and kind of what was in my mind when I designed them or how to use them. So the first one we've got is an A6 set and it's called So Grapeful and this one's all about grapes grapes in liquid form or of course it could be anything you wanted it to be in the glass um, and then we've got that little mouse hiding in these this bunch and the mouse is drinking from the straw on this image and then we've got some other accent images so we've got a grape there with a little smiley face and then we've got lots of different berries and a vine and some hearts and things just to try and fill up the space and give you as much value for money as possible and then we've got sentiments achieve grapeness thanks a bunch I'm truly grateful your grape feeling grape, missing you a whole bunch, so grateful for you, what a great bunch and grapes and then in brackets it says liquid form, one of your five a day. I'll just lift that up so you can see now. So this is a really fun set to play with, great to colour and um, the, the sentiments are you know just a bit um, a bit of fun, a bit light-hearted dumb, and some puns in there so that's a nice one to to play with and then we've got happy days which is another a6 set and this one's more decorative it could be used as a focal point because it's quite a sizable image but equally it could be worked really nicely as a background with your um, cute characters on front the sentiments say happy thoughts xoxo here for you always happy days and celebrate your day so lots of nice general sentiments that are really useful when you're sending cards and different things the other thing with this stamp set is that if you do some masking, so I stamped this once onto masking paper and cut it out, and then it's really easy to build up a bigger, um, a bigger kind of image with it. So I can show some examples of that um, on social media going forward, but that's a really lovely one to play with. And there's obviously a smaller version of the mandala on its own at the bottom there as well. So that's a nice one. And then we've got the A5 sets. So the first one is called Stop Yourself. And again, this is another decorative one. I've tried to include as many kind of decorative ones as I have cute character ones, just so that it makes it easier um, for you to build up different backgrounds and things. And then for people perhaps who, who don't like the cute characters, there's other options as well. So this one is all about the wreath really. And it could look like bubbles, it could just be circles, it could be anything you wanted it to be. And there's a separate element in the middle there of, of bubbles. So you could build up a big sort of background or scene with that. And then we've got just general foliage. This one doesn't overlay on top of that, but it's nice to combine the two, I think, the solid um, portion. And then if you're building up a wreath, have some solid and some with the lines just to add a bit of interest. And then we've got some different um, circles here, which look almost like they've been etched because they're solid with the um, design almost etched into them. And the same with the leaves here. And then we've got these two tiny little birds and the sentiments say thank you for being you stop yourself from stopping yourself and they're good size sentiments so they'd work lovely um, on cards or um, bigger projects as well and this is a great set for building up uh, wreaths or backgrounds or borders or different things and just having some fun with it and using it in either in conjunction with your cute characters or on them on their own so that's a really good one. Um, you might have seen actually on my social media that I've used the bubble wreath with one of the upcoming sets I'm going to show you. So it works really lovely with, with those characters. The next one is another decorative one and it's called Something Good. And I absolutely love this stamp here. It's quite sizable and it's great for backgrounds. It's great. You could use it as a focal point. It would be lovely if it was embossed. Um, lots of options with this one. And then we've also got a couple of circular kind of stitched element stamps here this one actually says live for the moment you can't put into words so that would work really lovely as a sentiment perhaps on a card or you could stamp it over as over and over as a background um, lots of ways to use those decorative stamps some extra little bits here obviously I don't want to waste an, any space of um, of the A5 plate and then we've got sentiments do what is right not what is easy hip hip hooray hashtag best day ever Every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. And thank you for being you. So again, general ones that are really useful to have in your stash. So that's that one. The next one is called Thanks a Bunch. 
This one is absolutely brilliant for your colouring and um, playing around with perhaps no line colouring or just filling in if you if you prefer to stamp, maybe stamp and emboss so that it's easier to colour. So you've got the floral arrangement there and some separate elements of foliage that you can build up extra if you want to. And then these two little bunnies are designed so that you could, if you wanted to, um, have them holding the bunch of flowers. Um, you could either mask it off if you're stamping and doing no um, no line colouring. You could sort of over stamp them. It doesn't really matter if you um, if you have a bit that's overlapping because once you obviously colour it in, it, it doesn't show. Um, or by cutting them out and you could place them in front of the bunch. Um, however, you'd like to use it. If you want to go and check out um, Cassie, um, I put it on my stories. You may have already seen it. Cassie in America has actually done a beautiful card. Um, using this stamp set and doing some no line colouring it's absolutely stunning so I'll share that again so you can see that but really nice one it's got the cute characters in but it's also all about the flowers and the sentiments say sending you a bunch of love and thanks a bunch so that's a good one and then we've got positive pants now I've been wanting to do a set like this for a little while um really cute we've got a bear a lion an elephant and a zebra and they've all got their pants on some with little frilly pants um some with just plain pants and then the sentiments are all about pants obviously so you can mix and match the sentiments we've got put on your and then you've got a choice of positive pants fancy pants big girl pants and then you can add the extra bit saying and conquer or and dance so it could be put on your fancy pants and dance it could be put on your big girl pants and conquer or, or whatever combination you'd like to have. Then we've got life is short, wear your party pants and stand aside, I'm wearing my sassy pants and life can be pants and then in brackets, big frilly pants. So again, it's a great one for coloring. The images are really cute. Characters just um, work really well with any of the background kind of decorative stamps I've already shown you, but it's a bit of fun and yeah, it's just, it's a lovely one to play with. So that's positive pants. We've then got, we've got chemistry. This is possibly one of my favourites, who knows? Um, but we've got a little monkey, a tiger and an elephant and they've all got their white coats on and they're holding little flasks and test tubes and different things like that. This is kind of almost a scientific looking um, decorative image that could be used for a background, um, either repeated or just on its own. You've got the two little um, periodic table elements here that make up cute so it's copper and terrain um tellarium, but obviously that doesn't really matter it's the fact that it says cute and then you've got hope you're in your element be your own experiment you and me equals us and we've got chemistry these bigger test tubes are great for creating backgrounds or different things like that um just to make a really um fun card and then we've got different glasses as well here that can be popped on any of the characters so that's a, um, such a fun one to play with. I absolutely love that stamp set. So I'll be sharing some inspiration with that one very soon. And last but not, not least is Warrior the sequel. Now you may wonder why I've decided to do this one. And I need to explain that the Warrior stamp set that we've had since we launched the stamp set almost three years ago now has been really, really popular. And I love what you can do with it and the mane and the fact that you can do all the mane in, in different colours and so on. And I really wanted a bigger version of it so I could do extra techniques, things like needle felting with it, things like um, sort of bigger paintings and, and paper piecing and different things like that. So I really wanted a bigger version. So just to show you, this is the original A6 and this is the new Warrior the sequel. You can see how much bigger it is, but it's also it's slightly different, different wording on the, on the um, mane different eyes so it's it's very slightly different but if you know our original warrior set you will recognize this one so um i can't wait to show you what what you can do with this one um the sentiments say stay strong one day at a time so very proud hashtag warrior hashtag brave hashtag proud you are some kind of wonderful and then it's got the little accent stamps obviously to make the most of um the value for money on the set so this one is fantastic i'm so excited about this and i can't wait to show you what you can do with it so that's the release it will as i say it will be on our website as of five o'clock this evening i hope you like it as much as i do um i can't wait to show you all the different inspirations and different things 
that I've done using these stamp sets and will continue to do. And um, yeah, I hope you like it. Have a good day. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.